Good morning students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. We are learning pavement material and its characterization wherein we are talking on the bituminous material. In today's lecture, we will discuss on the immersions and different different modified bitumens. As well, we will start the discussion for the taste on the bituminous. So, starting the lecture with the first topic that is bitumen binder material wherein we will start discussing on the emulsion. What is emulsion? A liquid product that is obtained by vigorously stirring up a mixture of two unmixable liquid that is called as the emulsion. An emulsion is a two-phase system that consisting of two immixable liquids the one being dispersed as a fine globules in the other one usually bitumen or the refined tar is broken up into the fine globules and kept in the suspension in water a small portion of an emulsifier is used to facilitate the formation of dispersion and to keep that globules in the dispersed binder in a suspension. The function of this emulsifier is to form a protective layer around the globules of binder that resisting the collisions of the globules. Emulsifiers usually adopted those are soaps, surface active agents and uh, colloidal powders. For the emulsifiers, half to the 1% of emulsifier by the weight of finished emulsions are usually taken while preparing normal road emulsions. The emulsion contains 40 to 60% of bitumen or the tar. Average diameter of globules of the bitumen portion is about 2 microns. Emulsions used for the road construction generally have the penetration value that is from 190 to 320. When the emulsion is applied on the road, it breaks down and the binder starts binding the aggregate through the full binding power. The first sign of breaking down the change in color from chocolate brown to the black one. Okay, If emulsion breaks rapidly, the emulsion is said to be rapid set quality and if emulsions which do not break contact with the stone but it breaks during the mixing are the medium set grades. If talking about the slow setting grades, when a special type of emulsifying agents are used to make the emulsion stable, they generally called as the slow setting grades. The manufactured emulsions are stored in the airtight drum. Now, with this, if we talk about the advantages of emulsions, so as an advantage, they eliminate costly plant, which is otherwise required for hitting the bituminous material. They can be quickly applied, okay, and are extremely useful for patchwork and the repair works. The road surface can be quickly open to the traffic just even after two to three hours of the completion of road. The work progress is fast as time required for heating the bituminous material that can be saved. Emulsions can be used in all weather conditions, even during the rains. With all this pros, there are some cons also. Those are as a bituminous content is less in the emulsion, it does not give a good result as an asphalt tar. The required bitumen of higher penetration value, they even, they even involve extra cost 
in their production and the transportation. They are not suitable for the large scale construction work of the bituminous road. So these are the cons of the emulsions. Okay, now let's move on to the next topic that is the modified bitumen, a heavy roofing material employing multiple layers of asphalt and the reinforces around a core of plastic or the rubber modifiers or composite sheets that consisting of a polymer modifying bitumen often that consisting a polymer a modifying bitumen often reinforced with the various types of mats or the films okay starting with that what is modified bitumen what it works a it is a heavy roofing material that employing multiple layers of asphalt and the reinforces around a core of plastic or the rubber modifiers or some composite sheets that consisting of a polymer modified bitumen often reinforced with various types of mats or the film and sometimes surfaced with films foils or the mineral granules if we talk about the requirement of modifier that is that modifier should be compatible with the bitumen also it should resist the gradation of bitumen at mixing temperature with that also such modifiers should be capable of being processed by conventional mixing as well as the laying machinery the modifier should produce coating viscosity at the application temperature also with that it should maintain the premium properties during the storage as well as after application or during application and in the service such modifiers should be cost effective also on a life cycle cost basis okay so these are the requirements of a modifier if you are choosing a modifier it should fulfill this requirement okay and then and then we can apply or it should be feasible for us to use such modifiers okay now talking about the application of modified bitumen since a bituminous mix is prepared with modified bitumen has a higher stiffness modulus and hence fatigue life better resistance to creep and the higher indirect tensile strength it is suitable as a wearing course binder course and the overlay material on the surface which are cracked and subjected to the heavy traffic modified binders are also used for application like stress absorbing membrane for sealing of cracks even stress absorbing membrane interlayer for delaying the reflection cracking porous asphalt and stone metric asphalt so while you are applying such materials at such time we use such modified binders modified bitumen performs better than the conventional bitumen in the situation where the aggregates are prone to stripping due to their better grip resistance property they can also be used at busy intersections bridge decks and the roundabouts for increased life of the surfacing so these are the application of modified bitumen where you can use the modified bitumen in few mixes bituminous mixes we can use such modified bitumen also to enhance the performance quality we can use the modified bitumen okay and in wearing cores as well as the binder cores we can use this modified bitumen
Now, if we talk on the advantage side, the modified bitumen has a lower susceptibility to daily and seasonal temperature variation. It has a higher resistance to the deformation at the high pavement temperature. It has a better edge resistance property, higher fatigue life for the mixes, as well as it has better adhesion between the aggregate and binders. It prevents cracking and uh, reflective cracking on the surface area of the pavement. So these are the advantages of modified bitumen. Now, if we talk on the different different modified bitumen that we have, so that is the crumb rubber modified bitumen, okay, CRMB. The next we have that is an RMB natural rubber modified bitumen and the third one that is polymer modified bitumen that is known as the PMB. So if we talk about the CRMB, let me brief you with the CRMB. It has a composition of bituminous plus additives. Okay, those may be the modifiers or the treated crumb rubbers okay as an additive crmb is the conventional bitumen with the treated crumb rubber additive at the higher temperature which results in lower susceptibility to the temperature variation higher resistance to the deformation at higher temperature even the better age resistance property and higher fatty life of mixes it has a three different grade, grade 50, 55 and 60. Well, grade 50 is used for the colder climates, 55 is used for the moderate climate and grade 60 is used for the hot condition where the high modification is required to withstand the extra heat. Okay. Now, if we talk about the NRMB, that is the natural rubber modified bitumen. It is used for the prolongation of the life of state roads. The need of such modified bitumen is to adopt the rubber for the use of the construction of the road, mainly that it reduce the cost of construction and also recycled rubber is used as it minimizes the environment pollution. Now talking on the PMB, that is the polymer modified bitumen, such material bring benefits in terms of the batter and the long lasting roads and saving in the total road life costing. The selection of such modified bituminous is based on the climatic condition, traffic volume, the performance reports and the life cycle cost analysis. Well, modified bitumen are generally recommended for the roads with the heavy traffic and located in the extreme climate areas. The selection of such modified bitumen should be based on climatic condition, traffic volume, performance reports and the life cycle cost analysis. The selection criteria, the select the selection criteria for grade of modified bitumen shall be based on atmospheric temperature. The soft, the softest, softest recommended grades are PMB 120, NRMB 120 and CRMB 50 which shall be used for the cold climatic areas. Well, PMB 70, NRMB 70 and CRMB 55 are used for the moderate climate and the PMB 40, NRMB 40 and CRMB 60 are used for the hot climates. So these are the main specification that you should know. Okay. Now, after that, we will talk on the different Taste this on the bitumen. We have to conduct various tastes on bitumen to know the grade of that bitumen as well as to know some properties of the bitumen. 
so the basic tests that we have to conduct on the bituminous material those are penetration test viscosity test softening point test flow test ductility test flash and fire test specific gravity test solubility test and the water content test so these are the test those are important to know the property as well as the quality of the bituminous material okay so starting with the first test that is the penetration test the penetration test determine the hardness or the softness of bitumen by measuring the depth in which a standard loaded needle will penetrate vertically in 5 seconds it gives the choice to select the grade of bitumen bitumen according to the climate condition of the area where the road is to be constructed consisting of a bituminous material expressed as consisting consistency of a bituminous material expressed as the distance of 1/10 of millimeter that a standard needle that vertically penetrate into a sample under the standard condition load as well as time and the temperature the penetration value is largely influenced by any inaccuracy as regards pouring temperature size of the needle weight that placed on the needle and the test temperature after conducting this test if you found the penetration value that is in between 80 to 100 or 30 to 40 that will give you the grade of bitumen so if you found the value 80 by 100 that means the penetration value of the bitumen is in the range of 80 to 100 the standard test condition as we earlier discussed the standard test conditions wherein the temperature should be kept 25 degree time should be taken as a 5 seconds and the load that should be applied on the needle should be 100 grams in general the penetration value should be between 20 to 225 m penetration values generally between 20 to 2 to 5 okay so with this i'm concluding this lecture okay i hope students you understand the emulsions modifier bituminous as well as the penetration test procedure how we can perform the test and what are its standard condition values we'll see you in the next lecture